You know, I do have my policy and strategic disagreements with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. With that being said, I have largely defended her up until this point against right-wing attacks because I just feel like they're baseless, they're overly hyperbolic. But there is a new scandal involving AOC, and personally, I don't know that this is going to be something that she will be able to overcome. I don't know that I, as an individual, will be able to support her after finding out what you're gonna find out right now. So in an exclusive report for the Washington Times, Alex Swoyer explains self-declared socialist AOC splurges on high dollar hairdo. It's safe to say at this point, she's done. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got a haircut yesterday. I guess this means that I am no longer a socialist. Damn. You know, if anyone found out that I am a gamer and, you know, I have a gaming addiction, not really an addiction, but I play a lot of video games, I'm sure that that would undermine, you know, my credibility as a democratic socialist as well. So this is serious. Um, AOC at this point, I don't know how she's going to recover, but let's get to the report. So Sawyer goes on to explain Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has allowed life in Washington to go to her head. Literally, the self-declared socialist who regularly rails against the rich and complains about the cost of living inside the Beltway spent nearly $300 on her hairdo at a pricey salon she frequents in downtown Washington, the Washington Times has learned. The New York Democrat ventured into Last Tangle Salon on 19th Street Northeast last month and shelled out $80 for a haircut and $180 for lowlights. According to sources familiar with the salon, a 20% tip would have added $52 to the bill. Her stylist did not respond to a request for comment about the tip. <laughs> okay. This is basically an Onion article, um, but like this is legit. Like this is an individual from a right-wing uh, news outlet that is literally seriously writing this. Her stylist did not respond. <laughs> Do you not, like, have anything serious to be reporting on? Like, I I'm asking genuinely, like, this is an earnest question. Do you not feel as if this kind of is, you know, a betrayal of what you became a journalist for? I mean, this isn't what you want to be reporting on, right? This doesn't make you feel accomplished, right? I mean, there has to be something better than this for you to talk about. I mean, I, I just, I'm confused. Like, at this point, I didn't think that we'd, we'd get here, right? Where they're literally... So petty that they're going to say that she's a hypocritical socialist because she went to a salon and got a haircut. I, I mean, there are no words to explain the absurdity here. The only thing I could say is if you, you know, uh, told me that this was an Onion article, I would think it was the most brilliant satirical piece that they've put out in months. But this is not satire. This is real. It reminds me of the article from Newsweek where they criticized socialist Bernie Sanders for wearing a $700 jacket while complaining about rich people. I mean, any individual who is shameless enough to write something like this, one of these articles, they are inadvertently admitting their ignorance. They're admitting that they don't know about socialism, they don't know about real political issues, and they're also just the laziest hacks ever. I mean, this article right here about AOC's haircut, this is the Matt Boars comic personified, where, you know, someone says, we should improve society somewhat, and someone says, yet you participate in society. Curious. I am very intelligent. I mean, this is the article right here. <laughs> you, you can't participate in society, um, in a capitalist society, if you're a socialist, otherwise you're a hypocrite. I mean, is this really how you want to be represented? Like, if I were a Republican, just strategically speaking, I would say, look, maybe tone down on this type of articles because it makes all of us look dumb. Like, if there was someone on the left that was doing this, I would feel inclined to criticize them because I just feel like, you know, when you start resorting to this, you just look like a fool. Now look, that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't make fun of AOC. I make fun of Donald Trump for being sweaty all the time and orange and just stupid. But like, to make this the centerpiece of an attack, it doesn't really make sense. Like there's no substance here. And it really just shows how vapid the right is collectively speaking. Because while people like AOC are going around making the case for Medicare for all, they're criticizing her 
saying, well, maybe you're not a true socialist because you got a haircut. Gotcha. As she makes the case for us to get down to net zero CO2 emissions, they say, oh, well, she must want to uh, ban hamburgers, literally. I mean, do you not think that this is going to hurt your credibility as right wingers? Don't you want to try to do better so that way you give us at least something to work with? I mean, arguing against this is impossible because this isn't an argument. This is the absence of an argument. This is just idiocy right here. Now, as Jacobin tweeted out hilariously, sad to see democratic socialists like Bernie and AOC do things like buy winter coats and get haircuts. Don't they know that real socialists avoid purchasing goods and services? And now AOC responded to that saying 40 million Americans live in poverty under today's extreme inequality. Yet the right wing want you to blame democratic socialism for their own moral failures. Our policies like Medicare for all advance prosperity for working people. They're just mad. We look good doing it so there you have it i don't know what to say about this um there really is nothing that i can add like to compliment just the fact that this story happened like i tried to find funny clips you know additional memes to add and we've got a couple but i mean it's funny on its own like you can't even really make fun of this because just the content itself is it's borderline satirical like it's indistinguishable from satire so there's no way to parody how comical the right has become there's no way to really make fun of them in you know a way that's meaningful because they do that themselves like this discredits themselves so i mean look if you want to argue against aoc she's not above criticism if you want to talk about the fundamentals of single-payer medicare for all if you want to talk about why maybe her approach to climate change isn't the best in your view you'd be wrong i would argue against you but at least we'd be arguing based on policy but this right here this is just gutter politics this is this is so stupid i don't even know what else to say about this i mean jesus christ i would say do better but i want you to keep fucking up like this because this just makes the left look good and the right look like the clowns that you are you could support the humanist report at patreon dot com slash humanist report but trust me i'd have way more supporters on patreon if that was my podcast sad <laughs>